What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Ball State and ended up getting the goose egg win, 48 to nothing. As you can tell by the box score, second quarter, we really put it on them. And the second half, we just kind of loafed around to try to get through the game. So we're 7-1. We are ranked. We were actually ranked, I think, in the last video. We were 23rd in the country, the first time we've been ranked in our Dynasty. Really excited about that. But today, we're going to take a little road trip down to the beach of Miami. Going to take on the Hurricanes, 10th in the country. You look at their stats, they are incredible at everything. Their worst stat is pass offense, and it's 30th in the country. You can tell by their roster, they got A overall players, just completely stacked. It makes you wonder how they've already lost two games. I don't know, but either way, it's going to be quite the challenge. Now, before we take on Miami, again, we don't have to worry about recruiting. We're done for the regular season. I want to talk about some sliders. Normally, I don't really touch these a whole lot unless I really feel the need to do so. And I talked a little bit about this at the end of the last game, actually a little bit during the last game. And I just want to talk about a few things that I have adjusted. If you go over to the CPU side of things, I have increased QB accuracy to 99. Just to see if that helps the CPU quarterbacks any. I've also put defensive awareness to 99. We should see just better overall defensive play from the CPU with that. Everybody just got a little bit smarter. So I wanted to make that change. The rest of these I was okay with. I think everybody, the CPU's tackling is fine. They break the blocks pretty well. The interceptions are pretty normal. As long as I don't make a bad throw, they still do their part. Knock down. I think everything's fine, but I wanted to increase this up to 99. The last thing I did, and this is experimentation. Now we've talked about it. The CPU kickers are incredible. Even the really bad ones can knock like 60 yard field goals. So what I have done is notched everything down to 35%. I obviously wanted to do that for the field goal length and accuracy, but I also was thinking about the punts. I don't remember the CPU punters, even the bad ones, really shank punts a whole lot. It's usually pretty dead on and a solid 40 yards. So I think they are kind of juiced up as well. So this is pure experimentation. I'm just curious to see if we see more realistic uh, punts from the good punters and even the bad punters and see how they'll do there. When it comes to kickoff length, I don't know if you've ever noticed, I'm always uh, getting the ball in the end zone pretty much every time a ball is kicked off to me. So I'm hoping that helps that a little bit as well. Just make it a little bit more realistic across the board. So I wanted to point that out before we head into the game, especially against this team. This is going to be by far the best team we've faced all season. They should be better than Iowa. I was having a terrible year. I think they're like two and five last time we looked at it. So it looks like we got somebody in trouble. This is actually a good day for this to happen. Outside linebacker, Paris McNeil. Oh, that stinks that he is in trouble for something. Let's see. The Akron police announced that McNeil was involved in an altercation at his apartment over the weekend. That's all it says. And look at this. What's going on? Look how far this bar went. It used to be like right here. And now it jumped to nobody's business. They must treat this as like a serious offense. Well, the problem that we have is we don't have a whole lot of linebackers to deal with anyways. If you back out, let's go to our rosters. We are just really hurting at both outside and middle. Now, thankfully, we only play two, middle, two linebackers at a time. But if McNeil is out, he is by far our best linebacker. Then it gets down into the weeds with some other dudes that are just aren't the best in the world and especially a middle linebacker. And I think we got Stokes playing middle. So, I mean, what do you do? I mean, uh, that bar is really high. And what really stinks is we got our most important game coming up against Ohio. And I feel like we're going to need him to win that game. That's going to be pretty much for the division. So, I don't know. We're definitely going to have him suspended for one game, but that one game barely goes down hardly at all. I mean, look at that. That ain't good. I just, I'm shocked it went up that high. And unfortunately, we just don't have a whole lot of depth there. So I don't know if that means I need to be playing more dime as well. Like, I'd love to spin him. Look, even going down three games, it's still above average. Oh, that's just awful. Um, I'm going to go for one game for now. Until this bar goes to the very end, I'm not too worried about it. But still, this is kind of goofy. But we got an important game coming up against Ohio, and I want him playing in that game. So we'll just do it for one game. Uh, let's check out some uniforms, not ours. We know what we got there. That's their default. Those look pretty sweet. They got an alternate, the green. That's the old school back in the 2000s. I, I assume they still wear this from time to time. 
Here's an alternate three. Look at that look. That is sweet. I may actually rock with that one. Ooh, look at that one. That looks pretty cool. I actually like this one. Let me just look at... Uh, yeah, I think that's probably what we'll go with. Just to throw something a little bit different out there. So that stinks. We are without McNeil. And if I had any depth at all there, decent depth, I would have suspended him for several games just to try to get that bar down. But even suspending him from one game didn't bring it down much. So I'm going to have to spend some extra points in the offseason on discipline and hopefully some guys get in trouble so I can suspend them and hopefully it's worth doing that. Either way, we'll worry about that later. We have a night game at Coral Gables. I love this old stadium. I'm pretty sure they have torn it down since they moved over to the Dolphins Stadium, but we got perfect weather for some football. I always enjoy playing Miami. I think last time I played them was in my Duke Dynasty. I could be wrong there. Of course, they were in our conference then. Here comes the Miami Hurricanes. Again, I figured they'd be cool to rock the green and the orange in this one. I assume they're going to pick them to win. There's big Kyle Wright. He was like the top quarterback coming out of high school. Didn't do much when he got to Miami. He looks like he's doing okay in this dynasty. I assume they're going to predict that Miami will win. And there it is. They put Oregon's helmet. <laughs> Did you see that? The Oregon's mascot on. Not the helmet. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. That is a glitch. I may need to go and tell somebody over at the next crew about that. And they may already have it fixed. I don't use their most updated uh, texture pack. Let's check out how good this roster is. Starting off, Kai Wright, 93 overall, 70 speed. We need him to stay healthy. I don't want this kid to be playing at all with that 80 speed. But we're going to blitz him today if we can. Thankfully, they don't have an impact halfback, but they got some really solid ones, 88, 86, 82. A really good fullback, 88 overall, 82 speed. They got two impact wide receivers. The good news is that tells me they're probably going to throw a lot, so I can throw a lot of zone at them today. Otherwise, look how good this is. 93, 92, 89, 87, 86, 80. Like, their top six receivers are better than any of mine. That's just incredible how much talent they got there. Tight end. Well, this is going to help. Greg Olson is out today with an injury, but his backup is an 88 overall. Redshirt freshman. That's just a freak athlete right there with 84 speed. They got their starting left tackle out. That's going to help. But his backup's apparently better in Wims. 88 left guard, true freshman. Wow, that's a good pickup. Then you got center at 84. 84 at right guard, another true freshman. Wow, look at their guards. Two true freshmen, both at 84. I assume they were probably like maybe around 80 when they uh, picked them up and they've just progressed since then. But 86 at right tackle. So they are super young on the offensive line, but a lot of talent there. They run a 4-3, I'm pretty sure of that. 94 and 89 on the edge, really good. 95 and 93 up the middle. So do not be shocked if our guards get pushed back all night. Linebackers, 91, 86, 94, Willie Williams, maybe the best outside linebacker in the country. I would love to have their fourth or fifth string today or the next couple games. That would be cool. Of course, that can't happen. But you look at their corners, 91 overall, then 78. They got a strong safety there, then a 78, 74. You look at their free safety, 93, strong safety, 95. I mean, they're just loaded. Like, they're good enough to win the whole thing, but somehow they've already lost a couple games. 95 a kicker, 92 a punter. They are practically an NFL team. So let's go ahead and hope for the best. Try not to get injured because we got too much stuff to uh, shoot for the rest of the season, especially with the next game coming up against Ohio. Let's see if we can get a stop here. Now, again, I'm expecting a ton of passing. We're going to go cover three and a 4 2 5. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'll stay low. I'm smelling a play action play. Oop, I called it right. Good tackle out, but he picks up a couple. I'm going to try. We're going, if they're going to show 11 personnel, we got to take a chance to see if we can get after this guy. I'm going to spread out like this. Let's see if I can take advantage of it. Go play action again. That'd be great. Went play action, but they picked up the blitz pretty well. 
Almost got the first. That's their number two tight end who's actually going to be starting today. Third and one. I'm going to go nickel one high. We'll try to plug up any gaps if possible. Do something like this. I'm expecting to run somewhere. Nice, nice. Both the blitzer and me was able to come through and plug that dude up. Nice. So we're going to force a punt. So we've gained a half a possession, kind of, sort of. If we can score, then that'll really help things. So let's see. Now, they got an incredible punter, and that's a really good punt. So that's, that looks correct to me. So i got to just keep monitoring how these kickers play against us. Let's start off with something basic. Uh, we'll just go basic power. I may be running to the right a lot today. Uh, they're loaded everywhere, so it may not make a difference, but let's go to the right. Uh, Garner got his bell rung on that one. That was a good hit. That makes it, what, second and nine? Let's try a basic triple. And they're going dime. They're double teaming him. They're spreading everybody out. I think I may just hand this ball off. That was just a good hit. That makes it, what, third and eight, third and seven, third and six. I'm going to try vertical. Make sure my volume is good, and it is. I think they're going zone. I'd love to hit long over the middle, but they're blitzing hard. Uh, I'm not really feeling that. Let's just see if we can get the first down. Get a first down with Jackson. So they blitz off this right side with the nickel. So I just kind of ran for my life, and yes, they went cover two, and I could have hit long over the middle. But at this point, I'm thinking, let me just try to get a first down. I noticed this guy right here, was keep, he kept backing off. So that gave me the green light to just try to pick up a first down, and it worked out okay. So we keep the drive alive. I'm going to go... Let's do a triple from split. I'm going to go to the left. Again, I'm trying to stay away from that linebacker. Just be patient. Just see if we can get a first down, a fumble, but it went out of bounds, thankfully. We can try tight, and we can go halfback option. We'll give Jackson a break. So the, it looks like they're going to flip their linebacker, Willie Williams, a lot today. Wow. Just came right on through. Nobody blocked the defensive end. I'm going to try a second and 13. I'm going to try the rollouts. I normally do this for like third down and such, but let's do a rollout and just see how they handle it. Of course, they put their linebacker on that right side where I'm going to run to. But they're not blitzing. Nope, no, that ain't good. I couldn't even move. Well, this right tackle... I didn't do him any favors by doing that. I should have cut up instead. So it is third and forever. I'm going to just run the ball. Just run it. Just move on. We're going to punt it. I don't want to turn the ball over. So that rollout did not work well at all. Let's see if we can get a just no blocking whatsoever. My right guard got destroyed on that play. Look at that. All right, so we're going to punt it. I got a terrible punter. I'm going to sky punt this thing, actually. That way I can kick it normally, and it should still be a sky punt. Pretty good where I wanted it. I think he's going to fair catch it. Yep, there we go. That's a block in the back. They didn't call it. So back to defense we go. I'm going to try that zone blitz again. They picked it up easily the last time. I'm going to spread out. Maybe they'll go play action on it. Nope. Went drop back. Broke a tackle there. That makes it, what, second and two? Second and three? I'll go back to cover three from four to five. So their quarterback is making some good throws so far, but he's pretty talented in this game. Going with a counter. We're going to pick up the first there. 
Uh, I'm, let's go man cover two from 425. So thank the Lord our defense doesn't require a lot of linebackers. Make a tackle. Want to pick up a few there. So 43, our middle linebacker, he's having a good game so far. Already got three tackles. Second and seven, I'm going to try that zone blitz again. Eventually, they're going to call play action on this one. We're going to take advantage of it. Let's see if I can do it from here. I may get right behind showers. Nope, that didn't work either. Good defense there. Nowhere to go on that one. So that makes it, what, third and seven. We're going to go cloud. I'm going to go... Uh, I guess I'm going to leave it as is. I'm expecting a pass. Get him off the... Great throw. Golly, what an incredible throw that was. Right where it needed to be. Boom. And unfortunately, Henry did not go up for a deflection. So first and 10, going four wide on us. I'm going to go quarters out of nickel. And Paris ain't even out there. McNeil, I guess he's gassed. Let's see what happens here. Going P.A. Reed. Good open field tackle by Carter, the freshman. Gets a yard or two. Picks up three on that one somehow. I'm going to go, even they're going with the big set, I'm going to go cover three. I think they're going to pass it. So McNeil still, oh yeah, McNeil's out today. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot I suspended him. I'm not paying attention. Gosh. I completely forgot. I'm like, why ain't he out there? He should be feeling okay. Good tackle by Pace, but now it's what? Third and four. They actually may run it here. I'm going to go cover two man out of four, two, five. I'm going to do this. Can we bring everybody over? He's got all day to throw. Going out of bounds, thankfully. They keep running out of room. Have you noticed they've been throwing to the right a lot so far? They're going to go for a field goal. Now, this is going to be interesting. Now, they got a really good kicker. But this is a 47-yarder. He'll still probably boot this thing for 60 yards. But let's see how he handles it. Pretty good kick. But again, he's got, what, 95 overall or something? Or it was in the 80s? So at least we kept him out of the end zone. The question is, can we get past midfield at all today? We're going to try. Now, I'm going to throw in some play action. The problem is they got two starting safeties that are in the 90s. Get a block right there. Go, Carter. So we're on the 30. I'm going to try that play action. Let's just go ahead and try that now. They're going man, so I'm not really worried about the safeties. We'll go to either Morris or Williams, more than likely. They're going that. I got hit when I threw it. Somebody came through. My right guard is in a twilight zone at the moment. So that is end of the first quarter. No point in me trying to select a play here. We picked up four, so that's not a, a bad thing. I'm going to go tight. We're going to run power option. And they're going dime. Ah, oh, that's just... Weird. That's probably a good play call on them. I'm going to go... See, now they got their linebacker at defensive end. Oh, did you see that? Look, I'm literally pitching it. Like, I'm, I, it's pitching, but it, he got stuck in the animation. Ah, what do you do? So, I'm going to try vertical again. We got a first down on it the last time, although I had to run for the first. They're going back to zone. I'm going to try to go to long, unless I'm feeling the heat. Nope, not a lot of pressure. Ugh. Until there was pressure. Look who came through. Impact linebacker had to thaw off the back foot. What do you do? So we're going to punt it again. Their defense is incredible. And I know I increased the defense awareness to 99, but I think it's more just they're just really talented. <laughs> I forgot to select the... A sky punt, so we'll manually do it. They'll get good field position there. Uh, we'll go quarters on a nickel. 
our best bet is if we can force some turnovers, maybe we can stick with them. But we need to force some turnovers. Can we do it? Good play there. I had to go defend the flat and I had to go make the tackle. I wasn't going to leave the flat wide open. But there, have you noticed they're really attacking our linebackers, especially on that play? So I can't blame them. Let's do a zone blitz. I'm calling these wrong. We need to play action here. There we go. That's what we needed. That's what I was waiting for. So Carter broke the record for most sacks in a season at the nickel position. Pretty cool to see. I would love to do that with a strong safety in my 4-2-5 defense, but there's not any good zone blitz plays for me to do that. I need to create them myself, so I'm going to try to do that hopefully for version 7. But we'll do this. If we can hold them to a field goal, that would be great. Get a stop somebody. Good job. So that's going to be a third and long. I'm going to go back to cloud. I'm going to go after him myself. I'm going to have to stay put. I'm going to want to get caught up with that tight end. Can I get around? Nope. He's got all day to throw. Good throw. Wow. Face mask the boot. Well, that didn't work out whatsoever. Good job by the quarterback. A little wherewithal to just kind of get around to avoid a sack. Now they're going to get on the five. Just worst play you could ask for outside of a touchdown. I'm going to go four, two, five, and we're going to go with a SS dogs just because we're running out of room so I can go cover zero a little bit more. We'll do something like this. And just hope for the best here. Thankfully, he dropped it. Good protection. I mean, I brought everybody, and we still couldn't get to the guy. I'm going to call the same thing. I don't know what they'll call here, but we'll call the same thing. I want him to throw quick, maybe make a mistake. Oh, bad throw led to a touchdown. Look at this. He under short, He short-armed it. He had to come back for it which caused my corner to make a bad play, or I guess that's my strong safety. So they're up 9 to nothing, fixing to go up 10. I think we're just going up against a bus all of a team. Maybe the most talented team in the country. That's why I scheduled this game. Got to beef up the schedule somehow, because as we know, the MAC is not very good, at least this year, outside of kind of like us in Toledo and Ohio, apparently. So my goal was to try to score any kind of points today. I don't know if we can. This defense is legit. We're in the middle of the field. I can try. Let's go triple from slot. Can we spread them out at least a little and make a play? They're going cover zero. Let's do, get around. And a fumble. Uh, they perfect defense. They blitz where I'm going to, so I can't go to my B-back. He's going to get stopped there. I mean, it's the perfect defensive play call on this one. We're lucky we got the ball back. I am going to try play action. Just kind of hopefully go over the top if they give me time to do it. Otherwise, this will be a third and long. Let's see what they do here. Cover three. We'll have to go over here. It just didn't get much out of it. So that's a good play call on their part. They went cover three, left my out route wide open, but they shut that one down real quick. That, so that makes it, what, third and seven? I want to try the rollout. Now, what are the odds of that linebacker being on the play side? Boom, there he is. I told you he'd be on there. He always has the strong side of the field. And they're going cover, ooh, let's say, going cover zero. Oh, and double teamed. Oh, and he caught it. Go Morris. Go Morris. <laughs> Crazy play. How in the world did he catch that? Go back and look at this. So cover zero. I was not expecting that. So I'm like, okay, no big deal. I'll just go to my post route. But good awareness by this corner. Or that could be a safety. He came back over and double teamed it, which I wasn't really expecting. Maybe that QB awareness or the defense awareness update on the slider made a difference. But either way, incredible catch. 
and he broke a tackle to boot. This may be a good thumbnail. This may be our only real good highlight of the day. <laughs> so we may do something like, uh, let's do something like this. It'd be pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and just take that while I'm here. Let's see if I can get that. That may be a pretty good one as well. We'll go ahead and take that one as well. We got to score while we're down here. Can we do it? We're going to try. I'm going to go half back option. If we could just get a decent block on the edge, then I think we'll be okay. But I'm going to run to the right here. Just just cut up field. And a f how in the world is that a fumble? Like he barely got touched. Look at this. Was it Williams? No, it was Williams. He literally bumped into him. Barely. A love tap. No, it was this guy. It was 18. Ah, just terrible luck. Gosh. We're going we're gonna to have a blowout today, aren't we? Gosh. The rich do get richer. Well, not much you can do about it. Just bad luck. I didn't do any crazy juking or anything like that. He just, just decided to fumble it. Going with a toss play, make a tackle. Good play there. Going to be what, second and nine? Uh, I'm going to try the zone blitz again. Maybe they'll go play action off of that. Let's do this. Come out showing three wide. Go play action. Nope. Jones. Right up the gut. Nobody's touching the kid. Way too easy. Look how big, big of a gaping hole that was. He had two big holes to go through. Everybody got shoved around. Now you see why I don't like to bump up the CPU run blocking. Because that would be like every play. <laughs> even against the bad teams. So it's first and 10. We'll go quarters. We'll do something like this. Throw on first down. He'll dump Get a tackle out. Good job there. Picks up three on the call and a timeout. I'll stay in quarters. I'm hoping I can bait him into like an interception. That would be nice. We'll do something like this. I may bump and run one of these receivers. I'm going to just charge right in them, see if that helped anything. Oh! I was a half a second late on that jump. Third and seven, though. Can we get a stop here? If we can get a stop here and just try to survive the half down 10, that would be great. We need a stop here, though. I'm having a hard time getting around this tackle. Look, he's just beating me. Oh, make a tackle. Great play there. So I'm going to call a timeout. I don't trust our offense to get down the field quickly because, <laughs> again, we're going up against a really good team. But I want to give us some time as well. I almost was thinking about just running down the clock, but I don't know if we can even do that because I think they may start calling timeouts on us once we get the ball. Look at that killer punt. Again, their punter's really good as well. We'll fair catch it and just get down the end zone. So what do you do? I would like to, I'm going to go, look, yeah, we're going to go tight. I'm going to just do a basic run and try to just get some positive gain out of this. We're going to go to the left. Good block there, Gardner. I did not get out of bounds, but that's kind of okay. I'm going to go power option. Now they brought their linebacker back in. They went 5-2, so I guess he's now part of their 5-2 package. Get over here. And I did not get it. Wow. I did not get that. I'm like, oh, this is an easy first down. Nope. So it's third and one. I'm going to stay here, and I'm just going to run a basic run. And I'm going to run down that clock. Because, again, I don't... I don't trust our offense to get down the field against this defense. So let's run down this clock, and if we don't convert this, they'll call a timeout and try to make some of this before the half. I can get more risky if I can get a first down here. Like we may do that rollout play on the strong on the right side. Let's get this clock down as best we can. Nobody blocked. Not a single person blocked. Everybody came on through. Boom. And now, again, they've called the timeout. And I have to sky punt it because my punter is not good enough to really boot this thing. And we're punting it 
to an impact player, which means he can get an easy touchdown if he gets a a good run and go on this one. But maybe we'll force the fair catch, and we're going to. So they got 22 seconds to get down the field and try to score a touchdown. More than capable of doing so. Uh, we'll do something like this. I think they're going to throw it the rest of the way. Oh, my gosh. They're just, they're killer. They're incredible. We'll stick with the same play. They may call something goofy here, but I think they're going, nope, they're going to pass it. Inter good tackle. They're going to call a timeout. Ooh, they're not going to. They'll call a timeout here, surely. Now there's their timeout. So are they going to kick a field goal? Now, here's the thing. They're going to kick a field goal. I'm going to do field goal safe, man, because you can never really block a kick in this game. 52 yarders, but their kicker's really good enough. If he boots another 70 yarder, like he's got an extra 20 yards on this thing, then I'm going to lower the field goal thing again. That's what it's supposed to look like. With somebody who's got like, what is it, 90, we can go back and look. What is he? He is a 99, technically a 96 overall kicker. That means he should be able to boot pretty much whatever he can. So that's pretty realistic, and he barely got it over. So that's good. So I kind of like it. We're 30, where it's at now, what, a 35%? So we got a second to go. We're only down two scores. That's the thing. But our offense just can't get going. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to run this one out, and I'm just going to get down. There's no point trying to make a play out of that. We know we're not going to. So that is the end of the first half, 13 to nothing. Our defense is holding in there as best they can, but it's just our offense can't do much of anything. We actually got more passing yards than running, and that's all because of just one play. So I need to go over the top more because our this is the worst rushing game we've had so far. It's not even close. Only 12 yards rushing. Really bad, but they're playing their part as I expected. Both teams are doing okay on third down. Uh, we got the one turnover, just a bad luck play. That was on the big drive we had. Garter just fumbled it, you know. What do you do with that? Let's go to individual stats. Three for four for Jackson. No touchdowns. Running the ball. Jackson and Garner, they're splitting that, but look at these averages, as bad as you can get. Receiving, we got three different guys with a catch. Defensively, Carter is leading it was Stokes on the tackle front. So Stokes, like I said, he had like most of his uh, tackles in the first half or first quarter. Tacklers for loss, Carter and Robinson. Sacks, we got one by Carter. That one play action play, we was able to get a sack on and no interception. So we're going to get the ball back. Again, my goal at this point is try to score at all at this point in this game. I think we can sneak in something. We're going to have to get a break and not like, Turn the ball over, but let's try to get a play going here. Nobody blocked on that one. Um, so we're at a bad spot. I'm going to try play action again. I'm going to try to be aggressive. I just need decent blocking. They're going zone again, so we're going to hit somebody. Let's see. Cover two. Great throw. Williams go to the house. He's going to get caught, isn't he? He's going to get caught. Great throw by Jackson. That's what's going to keep us in this thing. Cover two. I'm just going over here. Boom. But he's just not super fast. So it didn't shock me that guy was going to be able to run here. Ooh, and I went play. I went hurry up. Dang it. I don't want to. I'm not going to waste a timeout. So we're going to go with us. Yeah, just. I hit. Why? On, I didn't mean to do that. So I hope that didn't really mess us up on this drive. It probably did. Let's go with halfback option. I figure we may have to use that timeout later. Let's go to the right, get a block right there. Go Gardner, get those yards back at least. That makes it what? Third and four. Uh, we'll go, we'll try option from here. If we don't convert this, we'll just kick the field goal, but I'd love to be able to get the first down. I just, I got stuck. Look, my quarterback got stuck. Look, he got stuck on the center. Look, they got pushed us back so badly. We're lucky he didn't get tackled right there, but I got spooked, and I I guess I didn't really need to pitch it there. But they swarmed Allen real quick on that one. So we'll kick the field goal. I hope I can make this. Oh, man. Wasted opportunity, but maybe we can get our first points on the day. 
I'll go over here, and I missed it. I, I missed it! Gosh, stupid kicking. And I got a terrible kicker to begin with, but I did not help him out. So I'm sorry. It just It's just not our day. <laughs> it's obvious. Just nothing's going well, especially against a good team like this. Oh, just wasted opportunity. That whole thing was a mess, and all of it was on my, my fault. Now they're going to go right down here and just go right down and score on us. Too easy. Yeah, just went right by me with no problems. Uh, oh, well. So, again, right now the goal is just trying to get through this game. Don't get any injuries. I needed to play perfect football today to give ourselves a chance, and I'm just not playing good football today. Ow, missed a tackle there. So that's what, second and five? Second and six. We'll try another zone blitz. It's only worked once today. And we're not going to be able to make this work unless they go play action here. Nope. Perfect play call. Right up the middle. That's how you stop that. That's how you go up against that blitz. Just run up the middle. Easy first down. Oh, we'll go back to cover three from quarters. So normally when you turn the ball over, the CPU does a really good job of converting that into points, and they're probably going to do that here. Look at this play. I just What do you do? And a face mask to go with it. Like, we can't... We're just hurting ourselves. So we're going to give him the points. It's It seems obvious that's what the game's going to give you here. Uh, we'll try quarters from nickel. I'll keep doing that play action stuff. That's the only thing that's been working today because our run game is being non-existent. But let's get through these next few plays and then we'll get on offense. He had all day to throw. We can't get anybody to get to that quarterback. It's been a struggle. The only time we got to him was off that blitz when they went play action. Second and 10. Oh, see, we need a break right there, and we can't get one. This was a pick six. We needed this interception. My best cornerback just goofed on it. That's just how it's gone today. Uh, but nothing you can do about it. You can sit there and take it. Let's go cloud. Just bad luck. More of it. That's all we've had today is bad luck. Get him all day to throw. Just... Wow, that did not come down with that. I thought that was an easy first down. I thought it was a good throw. Maybe Pace forced him into in the out of bounds. Either way, they're going to get their points. They're going to go 16 nothing here. This should be a pitch for a, an easy kick for the kicker. Should be right down the middle. Yeah, no problem. So we're still down two scores, technically. The problem is our offense just can't get out of our own way. Just can't do it. But I got to keep getting being aggressive. We need a, a luck, good luck or two plays on the running front. Just don't fumble it. Like, I'm going to try that play action play again. Our only good play of the day. They're going man. They're going cover zero, it appears. I got to go to Morris because Gardner, that linebacker, is probably going to be on him. And a sack. And Jackson's hurt. And if he's out for the season, then I'm really going to throw something. I just, what do you do? I don't, just bad luck. You can't ask for the most worst luck ever in a game. I know this team's good, but it's getting kind of be ridiculous at this point. So now I can't do option. I can't do, I can't do anything. The one guy we did not need to get hurt just got hurt. And it's a shoulder injury, so just pray it's nothing serious. I'm just going to run with New Whale. So that makes it what? Third and four. I can try tackle. Jackson's coming back. Woo! That's all I asked. So we got too much stuff going on this year. We got in a perfect defensive call there. Golly, just every time we get on a third down, they make a killer play up front. So guess what? We're going to punt again. 
We're going to break some records today for the most punts in a game. Oh, can I score any points today? I don't think it's going to happen unless we just get lucky at this point. You could tell we just – this has been a complete massacre. I know the score doesn't show up, but – they're just really good, and we're nowhere near close to where we want to be. In the end, it comes down to players, and they got them in spades. Like, their second string's better than our first string. Another killer, like, nobody's... Their quarterback, just a good little throw, but my linebackers are having a rough day. Like, my backup linebacker there just goofed up on it. McNeil would have made that play. But he's out because he got an altercation. I'm going to do the zone blitz again. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. Mm, let's, uh, let's try this. Nickel defense. Play action. I got to. I don't know what else to do on that. We got Hickman on the stop there. So Carter is still gassed. He must be out for some reason. Uh, so I need to go 4-2-5 here. Just so he, because he's not really meant to play corner. Do something like this. Nope, come back. Make a tackle, somebody. Make a tackle, or don't. Wow, what's the deal? I mean, what do you do with that? How in the world can you get a play out of this? Should be the easiest play ever. Nope. Not a single person attempted anything, and I don't. I didn't either. Like I'm just playing awful. I'm not doing us any favors. That pretty much sums up the game. That play right there. So we'll try his own blitz, and hopefully we can de delay the inevitable. If I was them, I would just run up the middle, and they probably will. Make a tackle, somebody, or don't. Uh, so that is what? Second and goal. Unfortunately, it is not the fourth quarter. It's just the third. Let's go SS Dogs. We'll do something like this. At the biggest, look at this, my entire defensive line. Look at that. Everybody got pushed back. Everybody did. And again, that's why I do not bump up that slider. You would see that every single play. It would just be a complete waste of time. So they scored again. So I'm going to try to get through this quarter as best I can. I may just run clock just to get out of here. I'd still like to try to score somehow, but I don't know how to do it. it just Whenever we have one good play, we end up having a cluster the next. I'd love to have one touchdown and lose by two scores. That would be amazing. Or lose by like 16 points or 17, whatever that would come up to be if we ever got a touchdown. We don't need any more turnovers. We don't need any more injuries. So what I'm going to do, this game's over with. I'm actually going to take Jackson out. This game's there's no point in me having him play. So we're probably not going to score the rest of the game. So I'm going to take Gardner out. We're going to put Allen in. My two best players. There, Everybody else can still play because we don't have enough good talent anywhere to just take him out. So let's just do that. And I'm going to run clock in the fourth quarter. I'm going to take a knee here. We got the Ohio game coming up. And I can't have Jackson getting hurt. I can't have Gardner getting hurt. I'm going to go right back here. We're going to just run the ball. I'm going to get very, very boring with my offense. So forgive me. This is going to get real bad and boring for you, but I just got to think ahead. Let's go to the left. Can Allen get a first down? First down there. And again, I'm just going to run clock this entire quarter or entire fourth. Let that one go down. So we're down 23 to nothing. It is over. We took out our two best players. I think it's just in our best interest to do so. Let's go back to power from tight. I'm almost afraid to do the halfback option. 
the double halfback option play because I just don't want to fumble. We'll go to the left. Get about, what, seven there? I hope we stayed in bounds. Look, we got a total 40 yards rushing today. That is awful. But we can't get too mad about it. Again, we're going up against a crazy defense. I'm going to keep going to the left. I'm scared to death of that linebacker. They still got him out there for whatever reason. They will not put in their second string because a 23-point lead is not a big enough lead to put in your second string. Go ahead and snap it here. Get a good block there. But he's gassed. Look how slow Allen was there. Like he was just barely trying along. Of course, we can't get the first. It is third in inches, and guess what's going to happen? Uh, I'm going to go power, but I'm going to have to go with Gardner on this one. And of course, they, of course, their linebackers on the play sign. I'm going to run to. We're going to go here. Maybe we can get a first. Maybe I can sneak in somewhere. I can't go to Allen. He's about to pass out, apparently. Let's go and just snap it. Get the outside. Good block there. Go, Gardner. Go, Gardner. Go, Gardner. Go, Gardner. I have him out, but he is in this sub package. Or not the sub package, but he's a formation sub with this one. That's why he's still playing. That's what that 424 speed can get you. See, now he's still in there. Why is he still out there? He shouldn't be. If it ain't broke, don't fix us. Let's go back to power. And of course, as soon as I flip it, what do they do? They flip the linebacker. So I'm going to run to the right again. That's what we'll do. Uh, the clock is running. Look who's going to make the tackle. And look who's make the... F and I just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What do you want me to do here? Best player in the world is just making plays left and right. Another forced fumble. I, I didn't do anything crazy there. He just made the killer play. That's It is what it is. I should have dove. I just, you know, just slide and get away from him. But... Oh, well. So much for... Running a clock on that play, on that drive, we, we ran a little bit of clock, but of course we had to fumble it again. That's what we do, we fumble. It's always against the really good teams when that happens. Let's go here. And they may keep running, so I'm probably wasting my time going zone on this one. They'll probably score one more time. If they still got their first string out here, I'd... I'm sure they will, but at least they're running some clock on us, thankfully. Going counter. Broke tackle. He didn't get the first, but it's, what, third and short? They're going goal line. Oh, gosh. We'll go man lock. We'll shift over. Hopefully they'll run to the strong side. Maybe we can just stop here and force a punt, get the ball back, and run some more clock. I cannot get, just nobody got a push, except they did. First and 10. I'll go back to cover three, I, and I may have, again, messed up. I forget. I think they're going to keep running the rest of the time. Ooh, it says they're going goal line. It did not, mm, I hate when it does that. It said they was going too wide, didn't it? No nope, burn to go goal line on you. Just to add more salt to the wound. A fullback dive, make a tackle somebody, and he's close to a first down. It says two wide receiver, one tight end. I'm going to go cover two man for 4 2 5. Now, if they go goal line again, I'm going to get real upset. Good. Do what you're supposed to call. Thankfully, they're running clocks. I think after this first down, they may just take a knee the rest of the way. And he just went right. Look, I I don't know. I, I just don't face mask the boot. So look at this. My 300-pound defensive tackle just brushes off this kid. 
And that's another reason why I don't bump up running back ability for the CPU. <laughs> See, it all makes sense. I mean, there's a reason by, behind all, all my sliders. So back to goal line, more or less. I think they got a wide receiver on the left. Keep running down that clock, but don't score on us again. I'll get upset if you do. You could just take a knee after this play if you want. Face mask, of course. <laughs> All the flags have went against us today. All the turnovers have went against us today. Everything has went against us today. So on the 13, please take a knee after this. Please take a knee. Watch them try to score here. I, I, if they do that, I am not going to forget it. I will schedule them again, and one day we're going to beat them. All I ask is their coach not be a dick right now. <laughs> do not try to score on us here. They easily could have went Neil, but they're not going to. They're going to run this thing, and it's going to be a touchdown. 27, 26, 25, 24. I don't think they're going to snap it. So we kept them out of the end zone. I wish my blitz and safety would come over here, but he's not going to. He just won't. That's another downfall to this 4-2-5. The shifting isn't very good. And they, you got to be kidding me. They, oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a mistake. You should not have done that. Oh, man. Now it's burned into my memory. You scored on the last second. That was, oh. <laughs> oh, it's coming. You can celebrate all you want now. I guarantee you I'm going to schedule you again, and I'm going to try to beat you by 60. I'm going to put the numbers on you. Oh, man, that burns me up. Oh, do not do that to me. Do not sc score at the last second when you didn't have to. So let's look at some stats. 300 of their 220. They scored the last second because they're a bunch of douches. So we are going to give them some royal payback down the line. Oh, it's going to be epic. Let me tell you that. So the rest of this don't really mean nothing. We didn't do anything well. We had, of course, we had the turnovers. We had the penalties. They didn't have any penalties, I don't think. No, they had one or a five-yarder. Individual stats, Jackson didn't do anything four for five, 147 yards. Our only positive plays were those deep balls, a couple of them. Running the ball, our averages were kind of okay, but the problem is we had fumbles. We ended up with four fumbles on the day. Just It is what it is. Our receiving, not much to see there. Defensively, Stokes, Hickman, Carter, Henry got four piece. Tackles for loss, a few. Able to get a couple sacks. We didn't get a single interception. But, oh, man, they scored on me in that last second. That's that's not going to end well for them later on. I guarantee you that. Ooh, I can't wait to play them again whenever I get some talent. I need some ball. I need some better players first. All right, they're going to send the week for me. Ooh, man, don't ever do that to me. Ooh. So now we got to hope McNeil doesn't get in trouble again for our next game because we got Ohio coming up. But let's go check out some top 25 scores. So Miami beat us. LSU, AM, NC State. Then you got Michigan State, Michigan, Florida State, BYU won. You got Texas Tech over Oklahoma. That looks like an upset. Colorado, Missouri, Ohio State. Then you got Purdue, Tennessee beating Toledo. So Toledo lost another one, thankfully, but it's not a conference loss. Georgia won. They're undefeated. Then you got Florida winning. Then you got USC getting upset by Cal, their first loss of the season. UCLA won, and then Virginia Tech or Virginia over Georgia Tech. So let's go over to Sports Illustrated. Bowl rankings, Georgia, LSU, Florida State, Florida, and Ohio State. So it's an SEC show from what it appears. We are out of the top 25 when you get beat 29 to nothing to Miami. That's going to happen, so I can't imagine us. Yeah, we're out of it. We're now back down to, what, 30th or so. You go to Heisman Watch. Adrian Peterson, Booker, Tereshinsky, Ware, and Branyan, a quarterback for Texas A&M. He's a new guy on the list. You go to awards finalists. I'm just going to look at the finalists. I'm not going to look and see where else we are. We're up for several awards, like the Walker Award. I know Gardner's down there somewhere. 
but it's all about the finalists now. So let's just keep going. Willis is close. I'm sure he didn't have a single pancake today. Nobody did. Thorpe Award. There's Carter. He's slowly getting up there. Pretty good for the freshman. But nobody else were up for anything. So that game did not help at all. Let's go to bowl projections. This is our first time we got to see this. And they got us in the GMAC Bowl. That is the uh, MAC number two. is no different than last year. That's what happened. Uh, so we'll see if we'll go back there again. I'm pretty sure this is what? In uh, Mobile, Alabama. Yep, that's right. I already forgot who we played in that conference or that bowl game. Players of the week. Nationally, quarterback for Oregon State had a killer game. Seven total touchdowns. Defensive end for uh, Missouri had a good game. We can go over to the MAC. We're not going to be on this. Toledo wide receiver had a good game. Eastern Michigan middle linebacker had a pretty good game that week. All right, conference standings. Thankfully, we took a loss, but it's not a conference loss. We're still number one in our division, but the number two team in our division is coming up next with Ohio. But you look at our team info screen, our fourth best wide receiver is out for another month, but we're not going to miss him too badly. But Jackson, Gardner, Williams, Carter, Pace, that's kind of been steady all season. But let's check out Ohio. They don't have a single injury. Their quarterback's his number's looking pretty good, 17 touchdowns, only four picks. And this is unfortunate. They got a running back averaging almost 120 yards a game. I guarantee you that kid's an impact player, and if he is, we're in for a lot of trouble. Wide receiver putting up about 80 yards, and they got one guy leading in tackles and an interception, but their last loss was to Toledo, so that helps. Unfortunately, you look here, if we lose to Ohio, they got the tiebreaker, so we need them to lose again, and we only got two more conference games left. So if you go over to our schedule, we we'll go to the team, it is Ohio and Kent State. So we don't have any more home games. The Ball State game was our senior day, and I just didn't even think about that. I didn't salute our seniors. But either way, we're, it's just a weird schedule. We just It was a bunch of runs. Three ats. Four versus. Three ats. It just, you know, just a weird. That's just kind of what they gave me schedule-wise, especially in the conference. But that's what we got coming up. The big game. If we could win this one, we can get to that conference title game. They're 6-3. and three. They've lost one, but it was against the best team in the conference. So they got the same amount of talent as we do, but they run the ball extremely well. And their defense looks really solid, especially against pass defense. Their turnover differential is really good, just like ours. Something's got to give. We got to hope we don't turn the ball over, you know, and we can run the ball halfway decent. I still think we can beat them, but it will be a challenge, but it should be a fun one. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.